음식 남기면 죽어서 그만큼 다 먹어야 돼. 뭐라고? 음식 남기면 죽어서 남긴 만큼 다 먹어야 된다고. 그래? 그래? <웃음> 팝처럼 쌓여 있어. <웃음> 다 먹어야 돼. <웃음> 안녕. Hello from Seoul. It's Sunday morning, and normally on Sunday mornings, I usually wake up late and maybe have some ramen or pasta for brunch. But today, I gave up oversleeping, and I'm heading to this food. In the chilly and windy morning, what do you usually eat for breakfast? Or what you gonna eat for breakfast if you're in Korea in the winter? Do you wanna start your day with spicy and strong tasting foods? Such as tteokbokki, Korean barbecue, or Korean fried chicken, you will feel uncomfortable if you start the day with that kind of food. We definitely need some comfort food for breakfast. What I'm really craving for breakfast is some nice comfort soup. If you visit Korea, you can easily see people eating some soup for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. So today, I'm going to show you one of the most popular Korean soup, which is called s e l l o n g t a n g In Korea, a bowl of rice with soup is a very typical meal. And we call this gukbap. It literally means soup and rice. It's cheap and you will be happy with the quantity. And the best thing about this food is it warms up your body in the morning. To be honest, I've loved these kinds of gukbap since I was a kid. And one of my favorite gukbap was this s e o l l o n g t a n g But since 2013, when I met Claire, I haven't had many chances to have this soup. When did I stop you? Such a lie. This place is called Shinsan s e o l l o n g t a n g and they have many branches in Seoul. The best thing about this place is most of them run 24-7. We are so blessed because we can enjoy this comforting food anytime. There are many kinds of gukbap in Korea such as dojigukbap, gukbap. Sunde g u p a But unlike those two, this s e o l l o n g t a n g is considered fancier or healthier because it's made of beef and ox bones, and it's a little bit more expensive. I don't know why they serve kimchi or radish kimchi like this. Maybe it's for people like me? who feel sorry to ask them for kimchi many times. I feel so comfortable with this system because I can eat as much as I want. I love it so much. Look at this sliced beef. Before you even take a bite, I think you can already know this thing is gonna be the most tender and softest brisket. If you put it in your mouth, you will get a mouthful tenderness. And let's talk about this milky creamy soup this time. The reason why it is good for your health is this ox bone broth. People believe that many nutrients are melted in the broth because they put bones and brisket in a pot and boil it for a very very long time. So we eat this not only for breakfast but also when we are not feeling well. People usually have just one bowl of s e o l l o n g t a n g but it's not enough for us, right? So we order this suyu, boiled beef. It's not all because I want to eat more. I would like to show you more food you can try here. 
Liar, you said you need more protein for your mess up. Anyways, if you order this suyu, you can try various boiled beef. It comes with various veggies and there's even ginseng on it. It looks so beautiful, right? Not every suyu, but here, you can eat it with some veggies. And then you can dip it in this special Korean mustard sauce. It is so tender and soft, so it just melts in my mouth. If there were no veggies here, I couldn't even feel something was in my mouth. Rock, paper, scissors. Okay? Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Okay. It's your ginseng. I thought the ginseng was not going to be able to do it. Yes, that's right. Eat it. <laughs> I'm going to some of you don't know how to eat, so there might be people who eat rice and soup separately. But you must put the bowl of rice into the broth and eat them together. There is a huge difference between putting rice or not. The starch from the rice makes the soup taste deeper and more flavorful. If you didn't put it in, you better try this again. So let's go to a Korean restaurant near you and try it again. If you have tried any kind of soup which has been stewing for a very very long time, you may know it tastes a very deep beefy flavor and a nice little gelatinous flavor from the broth. This is it! And you may feel you need more salt for this soup. I'm not saying it has no taste, it just emphasizes the original taste of ox bone soup and beef. So some restaurants don't even season this soup. But this place did it, so I don't have to put much salt in it. Honestly, why I didn't bring Aaron to Seolongtang places is because I have a bad memory of it. When we were dating long, long time ago, Aaron took me to a very famous Seolongtang place and their Seolongtang was not seasoned, so I had to put some salt in it. But I don't know if you guys noticed it or not, I didn't even put any salt when I made fried eggs because I thought eating salt is not good for my health. So I didn't put any salt in it at that time and of course it had no taste at all except for beefy flavor. After that I thought Seolongtang is not good and whenever Aaron asked me to go to Seolongtang places, my answer was no every time. <laughs> but if it's a little bland, you don't have to add salt because we have this kimchi and radish kimchi. So there is a saying, even though the restaurant has amazing broth, it cannot be a success if they cannot make fantastic kimchi. It totally counts on how delicious the kimchi is. Normally, other Seolongtang places serve some noodles, but sadly, not here. So I feel kind of disappointed. How about serving some noodles for the soup? If you watch this video, people from Shinseon Seolongtang, you can do better. It's 
Yo! Take the honey. Oh, I forgot to tell you, this oxbon soup contains a little bit of peanut powder and cheese, so be careful if you are allergic to them. This sunsagulguk is a 100% pure oxbon soup, so go for this. Alright, this is it for today, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> 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 <laughs>